good morning guys so <laughs> we've uh, we've had a pretty good morning we've seen quite a few deer and we actually we, we we got up on the same hill we've been getting up on to glass and once we got up we all went three different ways so we could cover it all the way around and uh, it just so happens the spot I go to I get down there I set up it's dark pretty much it's still pretty dark and I look down below me, and at 39 yards, one of the bucks we're trying to kill is standing there with nine does. And then probably another 50 yards below him, there's another 20 does. And uh, they're just standing there looking up at me. Didn't care. <laughs> didn't run, didn't do anything. Most of the does went back to feeding. The buck went down the hill to about 50 yards and then turned and uh, went behind some trees and started feeding again. As soon as I got them on the radio and Casey got come over, they the radio talking to them on the radio kind of made them push down a little bit lower to where they're out of range and the buck would never come back out from behind the trees. So we had to sit there and just watch them feed into the thick stuff. They knew exactly where we were. It, uh, it was pretty frustrating. Never fails. We've been sitting here now trying to catch this one buck that we've got across the canyon. He's, uh, every time he steps out, he goes right behind a tree again, and we haven't been able to get a good good eye on him. We just finally got to see him here a little bit ago. Enough of him, it just looks like a young three-point. It's not very windy this morning. Super, super cold. Man, I'm, I've got sweaters, coats, jackets, two pairs of socks on. I brought the big guns for gloves. I mean, it's just, it's cold. My wipes are frozen. That's not a good thing. That, that's a bad start to the morning when your wipes are frozen. So, we're gonna pick this apart a little bit longer and then probably head down and make another plan for this afternoon. And if uh, this afternoon doesn't pan out, we're gonna get aggressive. I got a couple ideas of uh, some ways to go about it to try to force the, the, the hand here. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. That's what we were dealing with today. And uh, it's 10.59 right now. So, <laughs> it, was, it was cold this morning with that wind. Had to come into town and restock on some supplies. We're out of lunch stuff, we're out of water, we're out of coffee, we're out of creamer. We still got three days, so. These guys can't decide what kind of meat they want. <laughs> too many, too many choices. There are. At least my wife's telling me that's good. <laughs> we're gonna get some lunch stuff, stock up on some other stuff we're missing, and then we're gonna head back to the ranch house and get ready for this afternoon. What's up, guys? All right, we have uh, moved to a different spot, different glassing point tonight just trying to see if we can uh, find something else maybe make something happen since uh, everything's in the trees in the other spot um, we've seen some more deer we found another buck he's in the trees and he's not coming out anytime soon he's just milling around and feeding taking his sweet time so I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow we might get back up on our other point and I might try to do something a little un unorthodox and different. We'll see. We're going to talk about it tonight. But right now as it sits, the sun's going down. And uh, all three of us are in different spots just covering country with the glass. Um, we aren't having a shortage of deer, that's for sure. We just, we're having a shortage of stockable, stockable bucks. It's pretty much impossible to go after them in these junipers. So, just keep smiling. It'll work. It'll work. I have faith. These guys have been on quite a few stocks already. Super close. Just something goes wrong every time. The deer, the does, the wind, just you name it. Can't see. Change directions. That's archery hunting. I wish there was a guarantee to it. 
but there's not. I'm ready to get my hands bloody. <laughs> I'm ready to cut something up and, and cook some back straps or some tenderloins. Right now I'm just getting burnt out on just glassing the same stuff, trying to find something new. I want to be going, 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 going. I want stocks to happen. I need to see about having a javelina tag next year in these in these units. So many javelina. I can't believe it's not over the counter. There might be leftovers though. I haven't checked. I don't know. But evening's winding down. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. I got a question for you. Who does campfires or little fires next to them when the glass when it's freezing cold? I want to know. I decided to light a little bit of grass on fire. <laughs> Looks like somebody before me decided to do the same thing. So we do it quite a bit in certain parts. I haven't done it down here just because there's too much yellow grass to uh, have a really big fire. Might get the deer moving though. And start flushing draws with the fire. <laughs> so, yeah, who does who does fires when they glass? Let me know. I think that would work. We need to take that out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is uh, Nick from Colorado's deer decoy. <laughs> Wonder how it worked for him today. It's dinner time, guys. And guess what? We just got back. Let me show you what we're having for dinner here. What I'm going to be cooking up. bad boys yes sir eating good should I do a cooking video on this a cooking vlog <laughs> I like doing uh, after it's eight vlogs I can't show all my tricks and secrets I'm Gordon Ramsay stealing it all right I'm gonna get everything prepared and then I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing so okay guys the first two are done. I just did a hot sear on them. Gonna let them rest for a minute. And uh, now the second two are in. We get a bunch of butter in the pan. That's it. And uh, let them sear for about a minute, minute and a half on each side. These guys like theirs rare. And all we're, seasonings we're using: a little garlic salt with parsley, and this stuff right here. I've never had this till this year at, uh, from the deer camp on 13B. Oh, that stuff is so good and it's good on everything. I was putting it on chicken, pork chops, you name it. So I did a little bit of seasoning on that about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes before I decided to cook them, kind of let the steaks warm up a little bit. And uh, now we're just going to, like I said, we're just doing the hot sear and butter. And uh, we'll flip them here in a minute. Pat them down and sear the other side and let them rest. Got some corn in there, added some butter and some uh, garlic and parsley to that also. We're gonna do some salad and some potato salad and some bread and butter if they want. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. Tasty. There it is guys, dinner. Mm. I don't know if I'll eat any sides. That steak's gonna take a bit. Look at that thing.
and that's the way he wants to go, which is good. Hopefully, a little, a little bit of time off the street, so <laughs> give him play for a little bit, and they can open up some resources. So. Sure. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. Yeah. 27 years old. <laughs> <laughs> good job, buddy.